Hello? Hi. I feel so weird over here. This I is know, my I side. feel weird too. Things feel weird. Why did you do this? Because Tyler said, you sit over here, right? And I was like, I'd like to. It's weird. I'm on the weird side. Hey guys, it's Justine. And I'm Jenna on and the I'm, other side. I'm sitting on the other side today. Oh no, roll that intro while we figure things out. So we're still here on the other side. Should we switch? No. Okay, we're, we're, so we're here. We're here now. We're committed Everything to it. Everything feels so strange. It does feel a little bit weird. Yeah, like, because I'm left-handed. Yeah. Oh, this is bad for a touchy touch. Yeah, see that? I like how we have our yerbas in the mug with the straw. Hi, welcome to this episode that we're having today. It's episode 24. Can like you we believe said. it? I can't believe it. And I just want to preface this by saying that I kind of just woke up from a nap and I'm feeling so like weird. I feel like I'm inside of a cloud and I feel like my arms are coming out of the cloud and my body is the cloud. Are you sure that this isn't just a dream? There's a really good chance it could be. I also took a nap and I feel funny. Yeah. The problem is the weather. It's been chilly. So all I want to do is just sleep. Well, I only slept for like three hours last night because oh. uh, of what I'm wearing on my head right now. We'll get to it. But first we have the reviews. Oh, but okay, first. Okay, but first. So right. these are the reviews that have been placed on the wonderful Apple podcasts. Yes, yes. By our friends, by you guys. And yes. we read them every episode. So if you guys want to leave us some, feel free and we will read away. Jenna. All right. First up, this says a great podcast. Justine and Jenna are some of the best in the biz and their Whoa. podcast is no different. Funny, informative, Jenna. Genuine. What could be better? Nothing. It's the best in the biz, Jen. Best in the, I can't believe we're in the biz. We're in. Oh the, we God. are the biz. The best in it. Love from the Berg. <gasps> I enjoy listening to your podcast. You guys are funny and well informed. Your side chats are also pretty amusing. And driving around Western PA for work is a bit more enjoyable. Thanks to Yins. Stay we safe and stay sane. Love Western Pennsylvania. Wow. I mean, if you're driving around in Pittsburgh, you're probably going to be hitting a lot of traffic. So, mm -hmm. wow. That's the one thing I don't miss about driving mm. is traffic. I was going to say about Pittsburgh, you, you, you no, because, just driving because traffic here also is a thing. I only drive to your house in Whole Foods. I don't even drive to Whole Foods. They drive to me. Oh, well, I only go there when, you know, the delivery slots aren't quick enough. <laughs> Do you oh. have more? Oh yeah. I forgot. Okay. This one says, uh, same brain listener from Arizona. What's up, Arizona. Hey, Justine and Jenna. I'm only 14 and I've been listening to your podcast from the very first episode. It's been very helpful to get me through quarantine and it gives me something to look forward to every Friday. Oh, just well, from, sometimes we post Fridays. Well, you know, it depends when you listen to it. Because it's true. You could be listening to last week's episode on Friday. We do try to post every Saturday, but wait. I was going to say maybe there's a time zone difference, but you're in Arizona. As a matter of fact, I recently got the iPhone 11 Pro because of you. I love listening to the latest tech news. Thanks for making my quarantine be. Well, thank you for listening and thanks for the support. Yes, thank you. We we do appreciate it. And thanks to everybody who got the mugs. <gasps> there have been so many mug spottings there have as been. of today that we are recording this. I've been enjoying it a lot. Me too. It's, it's so very, very exciting. And I have my other MacBook, which doesn't have the sticker. I've got the sticker on here. No. It's great. Look at this. Check it out. 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 I like it because we always get our stuff confused because you basically have the same stuff and mm -hmm. I'll pick up yours. And I'm like, that's not mine. Yeah. It looks pretty good. Yeah, actually. Cool. I do wish they were a little bit smaller. I wish we had some options, but it's you also know, big on the very tiny 13 inch MacBook pro. I think it's actually perfect. I really like it. It's, it's perfect. Okay. Yeah. I like it too. So I've over here on my phone, I have got some anchor reviews. So we do our podcast on anchor, which if you go to anchor.fm slash same brain, you can leave us voicemail messages. Here's one. This is from Tayam. Hi, Justine and Jenna. I really love your podcast. And um, I love you guys too. And you guys have an awesome, both of you guys have awesome channels. Broccoli. Oh, broccoli! broccoli! Oh, broccoli. <laughs> oh, it's so oh, good. It's loud. Sorry, I got really excited. Thank you so much. Okay, here's one from Fernando. Hey, Justine and Jenna. Just wanted to let you guys know that I absolutely love your podcasting videos. Uh, keep up with the good work. Lots of love from Fernando from Brazil. 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 Oh, my goodness. Thank no you. Wait, let's do one more. Let's see here. This one's four seconds long. Hey, Harley. You guys have an amazing podcast. Amazing. Oh. Thank you. Well, I mean, what a great four second message. Boy, I my spirits have been lifted significantly. Lifted. Like a cloud with my arms and legs coming out of it. I'm waking up now. Isn't that like some commercial where there's like a... 
I don't know. Maybe it could be. I n- I think I've seen it before. Jenna. Yeah. What? Look what's on my head. Hair. Oh. oh. These are the new AirPods Max, and I just want to say, <gasps> I touched you when I first put these on my head. It was shocking because of the comfort level and. I want to put them on your head now. Oh, put them on my head. Put them on my head. That's actually the reason I came over. And then I got tricked into filming a podcast. I was yeah. like, well, but yeah, but we are going to have the, the problem though. I will say is I'm going to have to figure out a cord option because this is so small. It's very small. So if I get like a little extender, we can have put that here. So, okay. We're going to put these on your head. Okay. Ooh, this is exciting. It's so exciting. All right. Here you go. Whoa. I'm talking loud. Yeah. It is. Here you go. Okay. Put those in your head. All right. Your hair is in them. Well, I have okay. pulled some of my Here hair out. Go. Oh, these are these are heavier than I thought. Wait a minute, are they? Not, not, not they're heavier well, than the Sony. I saw Marquez's video. They're heavier than this, actually. So, oh, whoa. whoa. It's so silent in here. Let me put these on. It's so silent. Video. So <clears throat> well, I went to order these after watching your video, okay? And it said that they wouldn't be delivered for 12 to 14 weeks. Wow. I go... Oh, miss me with that. And then I got a tweet from board at work saying, oh, live on Verizon. So I click, 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 click. They'll be here next week. Oh my gosh. So here's the thing. These are very, very expensive. And here's another thing. Apple products do tend to be more expensive and you're paying for a quality product. I mean, and and it's hard because these, I feel like are in sort of a weird comparison because there's really nothing to compare them to as like Marquez said, because they're sort of in their own little world, I guess. Oh, you got a button. What did you do? I got a button. Oh yeah, yeah, they have Siri. They also have the little Apple Watch crown dial here. Or is it turning it up and down? Maybe, maybe, maybe. I think I hit transparency. Oh, can you hear yourself talking? Can you hear yourself? I can hear myself. Well, it's confusing. It's confusing. Yes. Yeah. This is confusing. Hit, do, fix it. Fix it. Here you go. One press. You know what I never do with headphones? I never hit buttons. I just <laughs> put them on and hope for the best. <laughs> I'm like, please just to work. Just, well, just work. It's interesting because before I feel like I had three pairs of headphones that I would alternate between. AirPods, the regular ones, the Razer Kraken headphones that have the extendable little microphone that I use for gaming, and then the Sony, I, well, I guess that the M4s are now mm-hmm. the, the newest version. And before that I used the M3s. And the M3s and the M4s are some of, it's basically like the best headphones I think on the market for the price. No, 100% and they fold up. So when we, you know, travel, they do like, fold they up, fold, have a nice little case and they just, they're incredible. I love them. They also have Alexa voice services enabled. Did you know? Actually I didn't. Oh my gosh, it's incredible. So I am, well, I don't know when I'm posting this, but I am going to be doing a, a project and it's really cool. So yeah, they, there's a button, it's the custom button and you can obviously set up custom, custom features. So I set it up to have the Alexa and I'm just oh. like, oh, turn on my lights, turn off my lights, set reminders because it's fine. It's okay. fine. It's fine. And I like, I'm mostly like, I'm always Tyler busy, got excited over and there. I'm, and I'm doing stuff and I, like, it's so cool. I'll just press the button. I'll be like, remind me that I have a call in 10 minutes and it will remind me. That is actually pretty cool. So that's cool. So I'll be, oh, Tyler. I'm also an Alexa household. Yeah. Yeah. Cause <laughs> Siri has, she has some growing to do. A little bit. You I know. just like having a screen. The screen is really nice. There's like screens and like times and stuff like that. Um, if I watch videos, you know, whatever. But yeah, so these feel really good. I don't think that you're going to get them back from me. Wait a minute, did you take them off yet? What do you mean? Of course I did, I did a review. I didn't see you take these off in the video. Hmm. She didn't watch the whole video, did she? Yes, Tyler? I did. Mm, she didn't watch it, she didn't watch yes, it. Yes, I did. No, you didn't see, I took them off. We took them off, Tyler took them off. Well, I had it on. Well, Close up. I know I got shots of it. I don't know if you put it in the edit. I did. Definitely did. I watched all of it, but I was also- She didn't watch it. I got, I, did. I got up at one point to make coffee, so maybe I missed it. It's fine, but here's what I'm saying. I kept getting into fights with people on Twitter about them. And I mean, I think I was fighting more about these headphones than I did during the election, mostly just because people were kind of framing it in the perspective of, it's like they were being forced to buy them. You're, what are you looking you're for? Glasses. Because I saw in your video where you said it's comfortable with glasses. And this is. is the true test because anytime we shoot our podcast, which we started off, we were like, we're going to wear glasses in a podcast, which quickly didn't happen because it hurts. Okay, put those on. Oh, oh, oh. she has hit the microphone. Shush. Okay. God, I want them back now. No, these are mine now. Like they just look so good. Like they're so super low profile. Like they fit so well on, like I can't even tell that you have them on in this shot. Yeah, okay, so I don't even feel 
It's not pushing against my glasses. I know. And they're using like this adaptive EQ that's able to sense, like basically you're you're using this over top of your hair as well. So it's kind of using the computational audio. There was a lot of really big words that basically (laughs) says that they're using kind of like artificial intelligence. There's microphones inside of the headphones to be able to hear what your ear is hearing. Oh my gosh. And then can adapt to make the sound sound like it should. And then, wow. It's pretty impressive. It's pretty cool. Yeah, no, I I really do like the feel because a lot of the times, even with the Kraken ones, if I'm gaming for a long time, just, I don't know, I feel like the pressure on my ears. I have very, very sensitive ears. I always have it, always get ear infections and stuff growing up and like swimmer's ear. And like, I just have really sensitive ears and the pressure would just give me like a headache and with the glasses too. But this feels really good. And I don't feel it on the top. And here's the thing. It's like, I it's honestly I feel that I was trying it's warm so hard to like find something when I initially like put them on. Are they going to be uncomfortable? Are they not going to sound good? They sound good. They're very comfortable. And yeah, they're expensive. What this the case, heck is this? The case is weird. But what I like about the case is the fact that it is very, very thin and you can just kind of slip that into a bag. And what do you do? You look like you have, yeah. These are I my know. glasses. They, it's, it's a funny looking case. It's a look. Um, okay, so let's talk about, let's talk about the case. Let's, I mean, yeah, let's talk about it. I really didn't even talk much about it in my video. So these don't turn? They do turn. They turn, yeah. They have to and turn. then you just slip it right into the case. So you have a cord. Okay. Yeah, that's true. And then when you put them in the case, it realizes that it's okay for them to shut off, correct? Yeah, but I've also, I mean, I've had them unplugged for the past however long and they're still, like the battery's not dead. So I think it goes oh. into a power saving mode, but specifically when you put it into this case, there's like magnetic sensor that does put it into a low power mode. Like there's no power button, I guess, but it just sort of is on and it auto switches to like your phone or to your watch. How many devices your... can you have connected to it at the same time? I mean, I, it just auto switches. So what's up? What do you think? So so you you ended up ordering them. Yeah, I got the white or silver, whatever. Why don't they ever call it white? Well, because it's silver. Like, with a white band. With the white band. The headband. The head, headband is white. Yeah. Um, I will say that, you know, the one negative thing I do have to say is I don't know if I'm a fan of the green color. Oh, okay. <laughs> no, the green... It's it's a very probably specific targeted audience who would want the green. The green iPad, on the other hand, I like that color. The mint green iPhone also looks incredible. And, and it's hard to say because honestly, I've only seen, I have seen it in person, like the, the mint iPhone. And it looks really good. It does look good. So here's the thing. Maybe the, if that's a color that you like, then yeah, you'll that's enjoy fine. it. For me, I wanted to get like a more neutral color. I, like, I got silver, not white, silver. So these are a review unit. So these aren't technically mine. So I have to send these back, but the colors that I got are the silver and the pink. Obviously I'm, you know, the pink is so beautiful. So we'll have those for our podcasting next time. But like, look, I'm looking in, I'm looking at myself right now in the monitor. I like that they're very thin, very Mm -hmm. thin profile. They don't take, look, look at this. I've got a freaking, what is this? What is this? What is this? But see, this is the thing. What is this? It's like a thing hanging off of my head. Well, this allows you to like have like an auto adjustment, which is nice, but. This looks like if I'm like, if I'm going to hit my head off a wall, this gives me like a little bit of protection. Oh, is that why Tyler wants to get that? Like, bam. Yeah, it's like a roll cage for you. Yeah, a roll cage. That's exactly what I I was thinking. In case you have an accident, you know. (laughs) Accidents happen. And guys, Tyler is back on the mic. Go over there. Oh, thank you. Thank you. So last episode. Um, you had a, a uh, review that said they really enjoyed the Tyler mic and we shot without you last episode because be, why did we, sh- what? oh no, I think I, I made you go get a COVID test. <laughs> <laughs> I was like, we're a safe production here. We are. I was uh, like, uh, uh, we need, I was like, you can't come over until you get a COVID test. And, uh, I would like to say I got one this morning. I went to a new place. Good. Great. It was in the bottom of a parking garage. There was no one there. No signs. I was like, is this That's how, how you get, this COVID. is how I die. Um, anyway. Tyler got his COVID test. I did. And how was it? Back. Negative. Woo! Woo, 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 woo. Um, I haven't left the house. Yeah, like, it's it's fun to you know pay someone to choke you and make you make your finger bleed. You know, there's definitely yeah. a profession for that. So I thought you were going to talk about when I put you in a rear naked choke. Oh my god, <laughs> I'm scared of Justine now. <laughs> yeah, I spent a couple of days on a on a shoot with her, and I got to witness 
her uh, martial arts skills. You know what you need to just do? Just come at her aggressively no, like this. No. Well, <laughs> no. No. No way. No way. It was, I am terrified. It was funny. I was like, okay, it was like, you got to tap. You got to tap. Just cause well, Yeah, you have to tap. Oh, I, I'm pretty sure I tapped without even needing to. Like, I was just so scared <laughs> nope. because before she put me in the choke, a few minutes earlier, I had seen her doing some drills. It didn't look like drills to me. It looked like her opponent was her opponent. being hurt badly. <laughs> Uh, and so I witnessed the raw power and then she was like, do you want to try getting choked? <laughs> like, <laughs> sure. <laughs> yeah. Why not? Happy uh, Saturday. Okay. So I was just like, <laughs> she was like, I just like tapped it. So like, like, like uh, let me out, let me out. <laughs> I, so the only time that I did something to Jenna, it was, I was honestly just blocking like a, a, a simple I punch and and she got bruised, and then that was well, the end of that. This is like a really bony little section of my arm. It is. So, and I'm bruised very easily. It is. And it's also very strange because when I first started training, the bruising that I would get like all over my body, like it was so intense. And then it just sort of like faded away as you kind of got accustomed to that type of no, I, training. I mean, yeah, I don't know. Well, I want to let you know that I'm I getting- just, I bruise a lot. I'm going to get mats. And I think that maybe we should start- you know, maybe just rolling around. I want to get into kickboxing. Like, I don't want to do jujitsu. Like, I want to. I want to be fighting. Like, I want to be punching. I want to be like hitting. I want to be kicking. Like, I don't want to. You know, I don't want to be defensive. I want to be an attacker. She says <laughs> that, and then I take her to the ground, and then no, bye bye bye. I think I'm. I'm pretty. Uh, what's the word? What's the aggressive? Word? Uh, scrappy. Scrappy. She is scrappy. Honestly, like. I mean, Tranny or not, I'm gonna stay away from Jenna. I'm also gonna stay away from our <laughs> other sister, Brienne. She's okay. just strong. This was like maybe two years ago, like when I first started training. And anytime I would go travel anywhere, we went to Tahoe and I would always find just like a local gym, go in and do a couple classes or like train with somebody there. And Brienne, our other sister, had never done anything like this. And she, Jenna said she wasn't going. And so I was like, Brie, come I with went. me. You, we we no, all went. You didn't go to the one. Oh, I think she the went one, the yeah. second time. You know, the thing about also jujitsu is like when you're training, you try not to use strength. You try to use technique. Brianne she picked, picked you up. She picked me up just like, just whoop and just threw me on the ground. I was like, what had just happened? She's like, nope. She I was like, but you, you didn't, you didn't do what we're supposed to do. She's like, but I did it. And I was oh. like, she has a point. She She's, has a point. She has a point. You know, I just, the whole side control is just, uh, you know. <laughs> <laughs> Once I get the side control, then what? There's a lot of things you can do. You know, knee on belly. Knee, I think knee it on the, belly. Oh, we also did this. Oh man, when we used to train with Rob. Oh it was, yeah, it was nogi. It was really fun. Oh man, I this pandemic is so weird. Like the way that everything is. Like the world has changed. Like everything that you Here's do. Here's the thing. What? Not in all states. So I, I know. I posted something about the Amber Alert. We got a couple. Weeks ago, day ago, mm -hmm. it's like, oh, stay inside, stay at home orders. And I, I posted it to my Instagram and I put nine months. Oh, I hit the microphone. I, hit, I put nine months USA. And my friend was texting me. He's like, well, you just need to move. Like, I've got a restaurant. So I do this, I do this, I do this. I go, what? No, that's not really, that's not really how a virus works. Just because you live in a different state doesn't mean that the virus is different. But I mean, yeah, I don't know. Obviously, no. California's been very strict, but yeah. like our numbers just keep skyrocketing. I know. Like, oh, you need to move. We're fine over here. I'm like, no, you're still dying. You're just, you know, that's what they're saying. And then every time I see like a friend in that area, and then I slowly see just more and more people. Like they're like, oh, I'm sick. I got. I'm like, it. I got, I got you crap, COVID. you're sick because you're you're doing bad things. No, I mean, there's gyms that I've trained at other places. I see they're doing full classes, full contact. There are some that I see that are doing like masks and like very specific things, but like. It's the rest of the world. Yeah, they're like, it's because you live in California. We're fine over here. And I look at their state and I go, mm. the no, no. I mean, also California is very like, we have a big population. So like, obviously, yeah, like bigger states with bigger population. But either way, I'm like, I'm not going inside a restaurant. Not worth no, it. I don't no. think I ever will. I'm cooking, Jenna. I want to <laughs> let you know, this is, okay. So at the beginning of the pandemic-ish, I, so I would, I would, I would order, like Postmates, but then I would order like several meals. And so those several meals would last me like a couple of days. And then I would also use the Brava oven. I would make breakfast. Actually, I would have two breakfasts. And then sometimes I would make like a dinner, but I still relied a lot on Postmates. But for the past couple of weeks, I have put a, I've put a, I've put a little limit on my, on my Postmates. I What's just wrong? saw a big scratch on my phone. Do you not have a 
Do you not know? Did you see that? Yeah. I'm really sad. Why uh, don't you have what? Didn't what? Why didn't you let me put I a just cover on it? One. It's in my package room. I have some D brand ones. I can put one on for you. I'll put it on after this. Okay. Um. Yes. So cooking in the pandemic. I've been cooking Genocide. a lot. I'm so sad. It's a very aggressive scratch. No. Wow. It's just been sitting here. Um. So my. Uh, what is this ceramic shield? I've been lied to. No, the ceramic shield is what? shatter. It's not Look scratch that. resistant. That's a scratch. It is a scratch, but it's not scratch resistant. It's the same resistance as the 11. It's just more shatter resistant. So I have to look at this for another 11 months. Maybe. Okay. Cooking. Cooking. Brava. Uh, Brava. The yes. I make breakfast and dinner in the Brava every it's day. Honestly, Unless we, so great. We're like shooting and we order Postmates. But yeah, it's probably saved me thousands and thousands of dollars. Definitely for sure. And especially because I was ordering like several meals for, for like the week. But uh, since I got this herb garden, oh, the, herb garden the herb garden has kind of set me on like this weird path because I'm like, I want my, what are you, what are you doing over there? Nothing. Oh, you're, she's cleaning your phone. The herb garden. I'm like, well, I don't want my herbs to go to waste. It's true. So I think I'm going to get a bigger one and I'm going to start growing lettuce next year. You have year. a bigger one? They have like really like bigger ones to grow like larger. No way. Yeah. What, well, do, what can you grow in it? Like, can you grow like, like just leafy items? You can grow tomatoes. Tomatoes. Wait, I'm interested. Do you like in the, tomatoes? I love little oh my, cherry tomatoes. Yes, you can do cherry. I'll grow some. Okay, I'll, I'm gonna do lettuce and cherry tomatoes for Jenna. You can't do them in the small one. I'm, I'm assuming. I mean, I think you mm, you might be able to, but they have like a larger one that's really cool. So I because I I like I go through so much lettuce. Like when I eat a salad. I will eat like like a rabbit. It's in. It's absolutely ridiculous how much salad I will eat. Like so, there's these uh, little containers that have like um, like several servings. I will eat like two of those. Whoa! It's a lot. That is a lot. I can't really have a like. Ugh, I can't even have a juice because it hurts my stomach. Okay, I used an alcohol swab on the phone. It is in fact a scratch. It is scratch. It's a very deep scratch. I'm gonna get you that D brand. No, one. I I have. I honestly have a screen protector. It was delivered today. Today, which doesn't. The fact that I've been using this for a month. Anyway, have you fine. played Cyberpunk yet? No, when? When I do that? I plan on doing it yesterday and then um, Apple well, went- Well, it came and, out yesterday. Well, yeah, I know, but I'm like, Apple went and had some headphones released True. and then all of my time, like we shot this video so quickly, like shot, edited, I didn't sleep last night. That's why I took a nap earlier and mm -hmm. why I feel like I'm on a cloud right now. I'm really excited for you to get them. I'm, I'm really, excited I'm, too. I'm excited. Yeah, Cyberpunk, Um, it's a little graphic. I was gonna stream it, but then I've seen other people streaming it, and there was like, ah, uh, yeah, there's some modifications that you could do. On I go, oh my yes. gosh, this is a lot of things it's that I'm seeing and hearing. Yeah, so maybe I'll just play privately. Yeah, you know? private, private cyberpunk. Yes. I haven't even downloaded it yet, only because I had to tear apart my whole setup for shooting. So, Jenna, <sighs> do you remember Saints Row? Yeah, it was oh the my. best. God, Absolutely I love that the game. best. That game was so just absurd. It's so Absolutely fun. Absolutely absurd. Tyler, have you ever played Saints Row? He's turning up the mic. We see Tyler Pingy. down. Finger. He's turning we saw, it down. We saw a Tyler Pingy. <laughs> Tyler <laughs> Pingy. Have, have I ever played what? Saints, Saints Row. What are you saying? Saints, Saints Row. <laughs> <laughs> Saints, 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 like the Saints go marching in. Yes, the Saints row. go marching row. one by one. Hurrah, hurrah! The Saints go marching, marching two by two. two. Hurrah, hurrah! Wait, the isn't ants it, go marching. Isn't it ants? It is. What's the Saints one? That's Saints just, Row. Saints Row is a video and game. The it's Saints kind of go marching. Down. So it's a ground. game. It's, yeah, it's, it's kind a of video like, game. It's kind of like GTA ish. It's GTA, but like weird, like and like. You can basically do anything imaginable, pretty much. It's true. Anything. Yeah. Yeah. Anyway, I think it was Saints Row 3 that I was rolling to. I, I, don't, think think I, I don't think 4. I don't think 4 was that into. Saints Row 2, maybe. I don't remember. I don't remember. It was a long time ago. No. It was a while ago. But I only, also like all of the uh, stuff coming out of Cyberpunk being played on PlayStation 4 and like just how bad it looks. Wait, what do you mean? On Have you not seen these videos? No. Where it just looks absolutely terrible? On PlayStation? I downloaded yeah. it on Xbox. Well, like the PlayStation 4, yeah, it just wasn't. It, it oh, no. It looked just very, very bad. It could have just been a video. I don't know. I'll have to show you the video, but it was just like not I just good for can't. PlayStation. So, yeah, I wasn't sure which I was going to uh, download it for. Xbox. And then I went for Xbox. Well, so here's the thing. I have my PlayStation connected to my TV, and then I have my Xbox upstairs for gaming. For Well, obviously for gaming, but for, for streaming. 
And I have, I just, I love the PlayStation controller yeah, so it's much. Great. It's it great. Is, and it's weird because I, I was always such, I mean, I'm still, I love Xbox beyond belief, but having not used the PlayStation controller in a while, I was just like, this is nice. Because well, like it's those, a huge upgrade. Like the last PlayStation controller, I wasn't really a fan of. Yeah. That adaptive, just the triggers. I just oh. haptic feedback. So here's what I've been doing. I have, well, I should switch this, but I have the Series S on my TV, but I should make that my streaming device because it's, you can't really stream 4K on Twitch. Or you can, but people complain. That's a really good point. So I think what I'm going to do is put my Series X on my 8K TV and then have the Series S as my streaming Xbox. So that way I can play on the couch. Man, I'm excited to play it. I'm uh, definitely, yeah, seeing people's screenshots. I'm like, oh, like, it's weird because I like I'm excited for this game, but I tr- was trying to not watch any types of spoilers throughout. I mean, I've watched a bunch of content, but then it's like I'm on Twitter. I'm gonna I'm seeing the see thing it. and like Instagram. Yeah. I'm like, oh boy, oh boy, oh boy, oh boy. What else have I been doing? I don't know. I I just feel I still feel so weird from my nap. Yeah, I took a nap too. It was very strange. And then then I wake up and you're like, we're shooting a podcast, and I was like, <gasps> Tyler goes, what time should I come over? I was like, I don't know. And then I, I was and like, then I went outside <laughs> to take Maddie for a walk, and Tyler was there, and I go, "Oh, I was like, oh man, that means we're working." And I got really like, bummed out. She was like, uh, "I might lay down for like an hour because like we were both editing super late last night." Yeah, and I was like, "Okay, cool. Uh, just let me know." Two hours go by. I'm like, "I'm just gonna text her." <laughs> well, yeah. So honestly, like, she was down for like I definitely took a nap too at the same time because I came over here, and I looked at my little clock, and I go. Oh, I, mean, I didn't. I set have an to alarm. like go feed the dog. Like I gotta go do some stuff, and I'm like, I'm just gonna let her go. I don't know, because I honestly didn't want to work today. I well, didn't want to put on makeup, so I was like, if she keeps sleeping, no, I knew if I told Tyler I to come over, we had to do have it. Have to do anything. So I said, yeah, like you know, two thirty or three. I'm sorry, Jenna. We I, had to do it. We had. It's to fine do because honestly, do it. It's fine because we would have had it. Yeah, we have to do it. The editing podcast takes a very long time. It took me a very long time to do last week's because it was um, over an hour. Whoa. Well, like, I shut it, I cut it down to like 50 something. Good. That's here for Jenna. You you ramble a lot sometimes. You think? And I was like, just, just tell I don't think I ramble a lot. No. Ask him, like, he wonder if he knows. Well, it's good content and sometimes when you can edit it. <laughs> I'm like, what is she saying? I was like, cut. <laughs> <laughs> honestly i do the same thing to myself i'll be like looking i'm like what are you even saying yeah and i'm watching this from like as a different person watching this person i'm like you're so stupid and you were talking about living spaces for the longest time i literally cut out like six minutes of living space i was like no one is going to care about this i just want you to know i'm passionate about living spaces. and i i was like no no no. And then you wouldn't shut up about living spaces. So even when I was trying to make an edit that made sense, I couldn't because it was like living space. And then you would be like, I'm shopping on living space. And I'm like, I can't find a, an appropriate place to shut her up so that we can have a clean cut to the next topic, which was again, you go, you talked about something else and you go, okay, so back to living spaces. I was like, no, we don't need to go back to living spaces. <laughs> like, what is your problem? I love living spaces. Faces. Like I couldn't find, I just did it. I'm like, what? I love, I love that it. we're talking about it now. Now we're talking about it again. Oh my gosh. I'm telling you, like if you went back and watched no. what we filmed. No. It was like 15 minutes. Wait, get this. We were going to go there the other day, but then we got a text message that said we had to stay home. So we didn't go. We had to stay home. Oh my God. My eye is leaking. I'm crying. Oh, living space. Living space. Okay, no, I don't know. Okay, no, 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 no. One second, one second, one what second, one second. I, one second. I have created okay. a monster. Just remember and last you have a year. Paul, we have to go. Remember last year um, when we used to travel and stuff and no. we would go to the airport and LAX had a freaking they did living, have a living, living spaces. spaces was decked out in the airport. Like you would walk in, like there was like sponsored seating. Yeah, I remember it was do by- you, uh, Do you remember? It's by like Southwest. Do you remember? Southwest. <laughs> she was- No, just, you were talking about living spaces. Again, like again, <laughs> again, <laughs> again. God. And this is my fault because I brought, brought it, up. it up. I got okay. my couch at living spaces. Exactly. Wait, Tyler goes, oh, he's like, check out this couch. I go, hey, have you checked? Oh my God. Have you checked out living spaces? <laughs> I mean, that's where I have my bedroom, like my bed set, my dining room, my bookshelf. We have the same bookshelf. Honestly, 80% of my house is living spaces. We're all talking about living spaces. I know. (laughs) That, I think, 
I don't think that is living spaces. That that bench. This is actually Jerome's furniture because living spaces. We talked about <laughs> it. I think I cut I, it out because you said same day. You cut it out. Jerome's furniture. Did you watch the podcast to see what I cut out? You, you know, didn't I watch just forgot it. about it. It's okay. I always forget I'm that crying. we have. I always forget that we have an outro because I never I'm uh, look. <laughs> If I'm living the podcast, I, I never want to live it again. I'm like, God, can I, I pee? Oh, no, God, no, because we have to stop the podcast. You have to, wait, we, we have to stop you it. Can, you I'm, I'm going to end Talk out. to Tyler about how fun it is to edit me. Hey. Tyler. What's up? Should we just lock her in the bathroom? I don't know. Should we just, okay. I, I think we should, does she need, should we call someone? To take her away. Um, she just needs a minute. <laughs> she needs she's a minute. She's supposed to be on a call right yeah, now. Yeah, that's what I'm trying to tell I don't know her. How like, she's gonna do that. She had a call. It started two minutes ago. I also think it's a video call. Oh boy. So, um, she's crying because she talked about. Li- that's my fault because I did bring up living spaces. But Tyler, you get it. Like sometimes she'll just say okay, things for like I was gonna seven say, minutes. I was gonna say she's gone now, she's so gone. I feel weird. She won't see this. I was, but I was gonna say it while she was here. So obviously, I edited like. I don't know, the first dozen or so podcasts. Oh, gosh. Right? Yes, and, sorry. And, you know, you've taken it off my plate. We've had some uh, other help with the with the editing. and um, But I distinctly remember having issues yeah. where you guys would <laughs> you guys would start on a topic. Oh, gosh. And I commend you for trying to uh, keep things on track. And... But then we a, a tangent would happen, and then you'd be like, "Well, but remember what we were talking about." And then it's just, <laughs> and then the tangent would come back. It would again. come back. So yeah, it's um. But you know. like this, this one, like we we honestly like, I was like, okay, I finally got her to talk about something else, and then she's like, "Oh, but wait," and I'm like, "Oh, okay." Here she okay. Comes. So I, Justine, you have a call. Unfortunately, we have to end the podcast. So if you but have I'm any, done. Have do you have any final? About. Do you have any final words? Wait, I have a call now. Yeah, four thirty. Is it four thirty? You oh literally, said, I missed the call. I know. Oh my God. We've okay. been telling. Oh my Wait, God. Wait, I'm not done. I had so much more I wanted to talk about. Guys. Can we cut? We got to cut. We got to cut. I got to get the call. No, I'm going home. No! I'm going home. You knew that I was leaving after the podcast. I said, let's roll. And you were like, chit, chit, chat. And shoot. Okay. We just, one second. We just cut. Well, I'll, but we only went 30 minutes. Okay. Cut. No, I'm not done. You're going to have to do the call on the podcast. Do it live. Same brain. Hi, sorry, we're recording the podcast. Jenna, just cut. No. Just cut. I just, I'll be right back. No, nope. same brain is now one brain. Okay. I'm not yelling at her. Really I'm not yelling at her. I have to be the responsible one. I have to remind her. The one time I came over and I see the electric power and electric people, what are they? Like the, the power department leaving. Yeah. And I go, did you get your power shut off again? She's like... I forgot to pay my bill. I was hoping they'd turn it back on before you got here. I was like, I hate you so much. <laughs> this uh, is why I don't want children. That's but. actually happened to me though quite a few times. Until recently, all my bills are now on auto, auto pay. pay. Because and that's it's just like, God, why wouldn't you do it? I don't know. It's like, well, you're not going to forget if you move, you're like, okay, I'm canceling this. Yeah. So if anything, I just don't know. I don't know. But I guess... Here's the thing. I just got manipulated into pausing the podcast. I wanted to start. I said, if we start on time, we can knock this out. But then she was just doing her own thing. So I guess we'll be right back. What I want to talk about next is Apple Fitness Fitness Plus. It's coming out on Monday. Okay. Does Apple Fitness Plus st- subscription come with motivation? Because I'm struggling. Um. Sold separately. Oh. Motivation is sold separately, but motivation is a Much very- like the adapter. <gasps> Ooh. Ooh, I'm at the Best Buy. Ooh, I'm at the Best Buy. Does anybody remember that song? <laughs> For how many minutes was that? It like, was like an a eight long minute time. video. I went around Best Buy. This was in a very, like a really long time ago. And I was like, I went- She's whispering because she's embarrassed. I'm, I'm so embarrassed. I rewatched this video recently and I was like, that is, and now because I'm working with Best Buy, I did this massive project over the past couple of months and it's been so much fun. It's been one of the most fun projects I've worked on because it's all like, I love Best Buy so much. I know. So it was like a dream come true. Anyway, this video, I'm walking around. Did you watch that video? Best Buy video, I, I, did I send it to you? I don't think so. Well, I'm walking around the store and I'm singing and I was trying to annoy my dad because we were home for the holidays and I, I think it was actually like a Black Friday day. I don't, the, the date doesn't matter, I'm rambling. Ooh, we were talking about Apple I'm Fitness. The best this side. is my fault. Ooh, 
I'm at the Best Buy. So when does Apple Fitness become available? Monday. Apple Fitness. Yes. So they have a ton of different classes. And it's really interesting because what I've noticed from using these different types of services like Peloton and Tempo is it really does come down to the trainers. Like yeah. You need to really find a trainer that resonates with you. And that might take some time. Mm -hmm. So for me, for running, like Matt Wilpers is my favorite running coach. I have gone through every single one, but like his teaching style, it works for me. So this is what I've been doing with the Peloton bike. Now that it kind of tells you on the screen, your range, I'm just like volume down. I can't listen to him. It just gets too preachy. It's a lot. So that's why you need to try to find a good, uh, I, a good I instructor. I click the new instructors all the time. I just, here's the problem. I'm very, very easily annoyed. And it's <laughs> really, it's really, it's a personal problem. It's a flaw, but like, I don't know the one, this one time this instructor said something and it made me so mad and it shouldn't have. This is why I don't do yoga. Cause like all that, like inner soul searching. I'm like, dude, I don't want to. I think Jenna needs some soul searching. It's, they, they're like, you know what? It was like, I can't, I can't. It's cause it's going to be mean. So I'm not going to say anything, but I don't know. I just, I don't want to be preached to like, I I'm here for a workout. Like I'm not trying to, you know, find myself. Like I'm trying to get my heart rate up. So please just instruct. That's please, please. again. That's why you need to find your your teaching style. There was another. Oh my god, I'm trying to like. What is her? She was um. Is it Jillian Michaels? I think. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. So I. Well, this is so long ago, but I took some of her classes, and she was like so aggressive, and it, it was just like I was like. Oh, I can't learn like this. Yeah. I can't. So you have to find teachers. But anyway, what the I point like of Jess this- I Sims on Peloton. She's great. I do too. She's a cute dog yes. too. Her, her strength classes are really good. So doesn't, she doesn't annoy me. I cannot wait to try Apple Fitness because it does integrate really well with the Apple Watch. And so you're going to be able to, what's going on over there or anything? It's my Apple Watch. I can't wait. I'm so excited. Look what at you that. got this little band? What's that? It's the loop. You didn't oh. get one? No. Well, I got one and then it was too big and then I never ordered one again. Huh. Or too small. I don't know. Well, it's cool because like in all the demos and stuff that like I've seen like on um, like their trailers or whatever, it's like you'll see all of your metrics like oh. on there. I mean, it's not, it's kind of very similar to so like where what do you, Peloton does. Where do you do this? I guess you do it on your phone and your TV, phone, right? Phone, iPad or Apple TV or something like that. And you get a, I think you get a three month so free subscription when I, you buy an Apple watch. Does this count for my Apple watch I've already purchased? Yes. Okay, yeah. I like that. I just feel like I have questions. Okay. So okay. Well, I might not have any questions because I haven't used it. So I don't know. My Peloton is in my room, my bedroom. Your bedroom. Because I don't have a lot of space. I have a TV in my bedroom, which I have an Apple TV. Yes. So could I put a cycling class on my TV yep. and use my Peloton? Yep. But it wouldn't- It wouldn't count for Peloton, but it'll count for Apple. Oh. I know. So I impulsively ordered a treadmill. That's gonna, that's gonna so, go That's gonna go in my dining room. I am so excited for you, Jenna. Like Dude, you I forgot. don't even know. I forgot because I've been toying around with the idea and I've put it in my cart so many times. And then the one day I was like, man, I just really was just feeling bad about myself eating cookies. I'm like, I need a lifestyle change. So I hit order and then I forgot. And a couple of days later, it's like, your treadmill has shipped. I go, oh. and you got the Nordic. And I'm so excited to check it out. It's the new... Uh, I don't actually know what it's called. X22i. It said, all I did was basically it said new for 2021. I go, okay, click. You, it's new. 22, I think it's the 20 or 22 inch screen. So it's not the big oh, one. I can't wait and to see it. it's not the 10 inch screen. Anyway, I was, I liked Nordic because they had the treadmills that kind of like folded up, mm -hmm. which I didn't get anyway. I'm excited <laughs> to try their classes. <laughs> You didn't even get the fold up one, did no, you? No, because the one incline, I think the fold up one had like the 15% incline and then this one had a 40% incline. And I was like, 40? That's what I said. Wow. I go, I could really train for some serious climbing. That's one of the things that has been really cool. I've actually, because Matt, he loves hills and he likes, oh. he likes to talk about how yeah. much he loves the hills. And I actually now love hills. What's, your, what's the Peloton incline? I don't know. I mean, I think maybe, maybe 10. I mean, we usually only go up 10%? to like six or seven. Well, like, I'm not sure. I mean, I think that's Look percentage. it up. Look it up. We need to know the information. Oh, you have a sneeze coming. Well, anyway, it was like, which 15% seemed like a lot to me. I was like, that's yeah. probably pretty good. And it had the decline as well, which was maybe 3%. I don't think I'm ever going to do the decline. That's going to hurt my knees. But when I was like, oh, well, I could go to 40% incline. That's wild. I'm, I have high ceilings. So I was like, that's good. I'll be way up there. How anyway, do I even search for it? Anyway, so I ordered a treadmill, which is going to go in my dining room. Also Apple TV, I can probably use the classes. That was also my thing. Cause like, if I'm going to be working out, like I want to like be watching something, maybe not watching the Nordics, the street, like the screen. So 15%. So 15% would have been fine. 
is what you're saying. I mean, I don't usually go above eight. We what average- am I going to do with 40%? That's absolutely. Like, oh my God. Wait. Have I made a mistake? That's ridiculous. My calves are going to be shredded. 40% is a lot. It's a lot. I'm excited to try it. But what I was very interested in their in their classes, they have some really cool ones where they actually go out and run in yes. really cool locations. Like with they're people. actually out there running. Yes. Uh, I know. So, so neat. So you can run in all these different locations. And I'm, I'm excited to try it. Well, so here's the thing. I have the Apple TV, not a physical one, but I have Apple TV built into my LG TV. Does that work? That's a really valid question. Because- it's Apple TV in my TV. I think so. I think so. I have so many questions. Me too. That's why I'm excited for it to come out. I'm excited to test it out, try it out. I'm also very excited for some of their yoga classes because I have already done every single core power yoga. I used to go to core power every morning. We talked about it in the last. Did we? Well, yeah, I said we were in a Petri dish. We were. Mm-hmm. Yep. Okay. So we talked about it already. So I've done all of their online classes and I'm excited to, to test, test it out. Yeah. I'll get into it. I, I like, well- you don't really, mm, you don't like yoga though. I don't like anything. What, what I do, do like, I like? What is wrong with, I like Maddie and I like dogs and I like food. Pe- peanut butter. I like cookies. peanut butter too. I ate a whole container of peanut butter. It's gone now. I was, Dude, it was so good, man. I got these like fake Oreos from Whole Foods the other day. Gluten-free? No. Oh. Well, I don't know. I haven't done that. Matters. Anyway, they were really, really good. That's my story. I we, like food. We had a, we split a brownie today. Oh, we did, didn't we? It was really good. It was in my backpack. It was a little lunchtime. Yeah, she's (laughs) like, I found a brownie in my backpack. I go, well, how old is it? Like new? I was like, like, it's from this morning. It's like, oh, that's totally fine. Totally fine. So fitness. It's just been really hard because it gets dark at like 4.30. It's been cold. I've been in the house for nine months. And I just, my motivation. Yeah. Once, if I don't work out before 10 a.m., I'm not going to do it because I get caught doing all these like emails and calls and work. And I'm like, ah, and then it comes a thing where I have to strategically plan on if I'm going to put makeup on, wash my hair and shower. So if I'm going to do that, the chances of me working out after that has happened is basically non-existent. I need, so my problem is food because I can't work out on a full stomach. Mm -hmm. And so it's like, but then I need to have enough food to have enough energy. So it's, it's so weird. And that- I hear Maddie. He's very upset. He, he heard, wants his dinner. The dinner. But yeah, there is a very like small time frame where if I can get the Peloton bike and the tempo in and then get breakfast, I'm like, this is great. But if I wait too long, I get shaky from the coffee. Yeah. I love to work out though on an empty stomach mm-hmm. if I can, like as soon as I wake up, like Same. I gotta do it. Uh, the other day though, I did, it was like an hour running class and it was, I think I started running at like 6.30 oh. and I was so tired. I was not awake and no. my performance was very, very poor. Well, that's why I was excited with the treadmill too. Cause I just, I don't like running outside. I just, I'm not good at it. I don't like it. And now like wearing the masks is like fine, but I just, I'm not, I don't enjoy it. And, I'm, and the, the other day I was watching back our hour long podcast and I was like, oh God, I have to watch this back. And I was like, this is just be so nice. Like I can mm-hmm. set it on the treadmill. And even if I'm just walking at a 40% incline, watching this back, like you're going to fall backwards is what you're going to do. Oh, Jenna's well, going to be watching the I podcast. Hold, why can't I hold gonna, on? You're gonna, I know you're not supposed to, but I'm going to hold on. No, I'm very excited for you because quarantined with a treadmill was the best thing ever until I ran outside and sprained my ankle. And now I'm still recovering from that. Like it's even when I'm trying to do yoga, like I, I can't like sit on my ankle because it, it hurts really bad. Yeah. So I just, I don't know. Like there's just times where I'm like, I could be watching this video back, this podcast back. And like, if I can walk for 30 minutes, that's better than sitting for 30 minutes. But this is really important. I just got an Apple TV notification what that a new episode of the flight attendant is now available on HBO Max, Justine. I watched The Undoing. Yes. And Good, great show. Wow. Did Good show. That really messed me up. Well, I moved on to The Undoing. Okay. We know and you flight attendant. I mean, I moved on to flight attendant with Kaylee with a Kaylee Quo Kaylee Cuoco, Kaylee Cuoco, Kaylee Cuoco. Anyway, I like her. Great show. I didn't know anything about it and then I was watching it and I go, oh, that's like a wild turn of events. Whoa, I so, will, uh, I'll check it out. I it's really good. You told me to watch The Undoing and it's been keeping me up late at night watch, yes. watching it. Well, there's only six episodes. Well, it kept me up for it's six like hours. Afternoon. Okay, afternoon. move on to this one because this is a really good show. I really like it. It's like, it's just weird. Kind of dark, but like not dark, but like kind of dark. Okay. But not as dark as The Undoing. Oh man, it took some turns. There, oh, I don't want to. I don't want to talk anymore about it. But yeah, like when I, I did, did Tyler it, watch it yet? No. Hmm. Wait, what is that? The, the Undoing on HBO. No. What is it about? 
What's his face? What's so his name? It has Hugh Grant yes. and uh, Nicole. Oh, uh, it's not a documentary. No. no, I've been watching a lot of HBO documentaries. Oh, well, murder, get into the Undoing. Mur- there is murder and there's suspense. I like murder. You should watch it. It's good. I was trying to watch it, but I would just get lost in Nicole Kidman's beautiful skin. Her hair is so nice too. Oh my god, she's like, like I couldn't even is she focus. Real? I don't know. Like and I her knew, outfits. There was a whole uh, blog post about her jackets. I was watching this. I'm just like, oh my god, like your skin, like you're so pretty. Like your hair is perfect. Like you talk so well, and just she's just great. Her character in everything is just always like. Cut, I feel bad because a lot of her characters don't have very good relationships. No, they don't. But she's really she's good. great. She nails that part. Nails so, it. God, she's so good. Just really don't know what I'm gonna have for dinner tonight. I am probably gonna have the same thing that I'm gonna have every everything. I'm gonna make some chicken in the brava and cut up some salad. So how much longer do you think we're gonna be speaking with each other? (laughs) 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 So I guess we should, I mean, I want to be speaking. I want to read it. Okay, so Jenna doesn't want to do this anymore. I, uh, my eyes are swollen from, I have been, okay. Can we talk about the cats? The cats, yeah. Okay, I'm allergic to cats. Jenna's allergic to cats. Cats are cool. I love cats. I but love man, animals. Okay, so uh, my neighbor has really cool cats. They also, they have basically like a zoo. Yeah, so so they, I like I open my door now, like I will go to like get a package or put something in my car. And if my doors open a crack, the cats will push my door open and just come in my just house. Just come inside. Like, okay, so earlier before the nap, I was just like working in the guest room here, which is like, what's my room? It's, it's my bedroom. So I was like on my computer doing some stuff, doing some stuff, blah, 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 blah. And all of a sudden a cat just jumps on the bed and jumps on me. And I was like, oh, I was like, okay. And like, I will never, even if I am deathly allergic to an animal, I am still going to pet it. Oh no, definitely. And this cat has such an incredible personality. Like she's so funny. Like, she's really funny. Like, I, she said hello to me today. She was rubbing her body all over my MacBook, like aggressively. I was like, that doesn't that hurt your face? Like that's kind of hard. So she's a hairless cat, but she grew hair. She's like the Sphinx. Yeah, so which is- But, but she she's has not a Sphinx. She's something- she's not a Sphinx? No, she's not. She, there's some other breed. I forget what she said that she is, that like the breeder or something like sold her a hairless cat, but it was like a scam. Oh. I love not, a good cat scan. But I'll tell you what, like th- this personality, this cat, it's like she's a person. She's so cute. I mean, I swear she, she spoke to me today. I mean, she was on your washer and dryer. She was on the kitchen, uh, the dining room table. She jumped into my car. She jumped into your car. <laughs> exactly. You're like, wait, there's a cat in the car. Yeah, I almost, she was in, I got in, I, I got out to open the gate, about to get back in my car and drive away. And she was in my back <laughs> yeah, seat. Yeah, she's and I was like, whoa. In. So crazy. She's so sneaky. That's like, yeah, you open the door for a second, or even if we open the back door to let like Maddie out, like she somehow just gets in. And my neighbor said that she jumped in her car the other day and wouldn't get out. And she's like, well, she had to go to the bank. So she took the cat, took with the her cat to the bank. <laughs> yeah, she's just, she's, I think she just really likes to be around people. It's incredible. Yeah. Well, and the one time she was like crying in front of my door and I was so worried that like she couldn't get into her home. No, she just, just wanted to hang out with me. So I, I was so scared and I brought her out a blanket and then some water. I was like, maybe, maybe she can't get back into her house. I need to save her. I can't have her in my, this was before she started she just forcefully entering. In. Yeah. And uh, turns out she just wanted to hang out. Yeah, I mean, I, she was just hanging out in the bed with me today. I'm like, this is and just what we're doing. Won't let me pick her up. So when I pick her up, she goes, Aah. and like, I tried to, I picked her up and she clawed her claws on the bed. And I was just like, okay, I'm just gonna let you, okay, you do what you want. You do what you want. Yeah, I need to get a tutorial on the proper way to pick her up. Uh, her owner said that there's a way to, to do it. And then really? Tyler cradled her the other day and just like dropped her off. <laughs> you know, I, uh, you have a I'm a cat owner myself. I, uh, I know how to handle them. I mean, Nibs. Yeah. How's Nibs. Nibs? So Nibs had his first adventure last night. Well, so Nibs was an outdoor, has been an outdoor cat for years, but I moved recently and I wanted him to know where his new home was. Whoops. That's Sorry. Fair. I hit the, hit the uh, mic. I Go wanted ahead. him to know where his new home was before I uh, just started letting him outside. Uh, so he's starting to go out and he was gone all night. <gasps> Who knows so what he was getting up to. This morning when you said he didn't come Shenanigans. home. Shenanigans. But he came home for breakfast, yeah? He did. I mean, I, w- I was on a walk and I just saw him standing really? in the street. Really? That's incredible. No way. <laughs> yeah. And what I was, was he like, doing? How I awkward like, is that? Sup, dude. And he's just like sitting there looking at me <gasps> like a couple blocks away from the house. Shut up. That's, That's so like when funny. you used to see like your teacher out in the wild. You're like, I don't really know how to act right now. I'm like, ah, this is weird. <laughs> yeah, no, it was cool. And then he followed me for a minute and then he was like, what's going on? And he just like kind of stopped. And then I picked him up and took him home and oh. we had some breakfast. 
That's so sweet. Is he in the house now, do you think? Or do I, did you let yeah, him out? Yeah, he's chilling. Okay, that's cool. He's not allowed out anymore. Not after that behavior. No, he's going out again tonight. <gasps> oh, he's going to hunt tonight. Yeah. Wow. Yeah. I can't imagine. Because then I can sleep. True. 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 That is true. Those kitties are active in the nighttime. Yeah. Yeah, he's it's he's a real uh, a-hole. Oh. Can, we, can we say that on this podcast? I mean, I think I think so. I think so. Yeah. I mean, we, say what, we say things. We say do what we want, do what we want with our podcast, like end it because Jenna doesn't want to be here you anymore. You know, I just was inquiring about how long we were going to be speaking <laughs> to each other. <laughs> well, we just spoke for 18 minutes. That's great. So I think that's that's pretty, that's good. Pretty substantial. It's a very substantial, substantial. I need to go to bed. Dude, I I'm have to, so I'm tired. Gonna, I'm excited about dinner. But so I here's the problem. Like I also, well, I have to drive in this traffic. Traffic is the thing again. Oh, because people are, you know, stay at home order. Is anyone staying home? No. That's a question. It's a question. I've, been, I've been home for okay. Did you know that uh, lockdown start, started like 260 days ago? Yeah, I know because that's how long my car has been. I due. could have grown a child and had the child in the amount of time that we've been home. So scary, terrifying. Um, yeah, that my car reminds me because I think I was supposed to take my car in the day of lockdown, so it's <gasps> like 267 days overdue. Oh my, God. Uh, my car, didn't you're not start allowed to get in your car. That's a crime. Go yeah, for but- a walk, crime. <clears throat> Go to the beach, crime. <clears throat> but our business is open. Sort the of. Mall's open. But you can't go there because you can't walk or drive. <laughs> is Trader Joe's open? Probably, yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, I have one thing to say and then I'm I'm done. Okay. The off-brand version of Cinnamon Toast Crunch from Trader Joe's tastes exactly like the real thing. Exactly. But it doesn't get soggy super fast oh. like the original. Oh, interesting. So just, What's their secret? I just want the world to know that. I have, don't know. Have but you? Just so you know. Have you had the churro Cinnamon Toast Crunch? I haven't I had I prefer the French Toast Crunch, Wait, but I, really I haven't had the churro. I haven't oh. had cereal in so long. Me either. I, the, what, uh, what? I had to stop having cereal because I would eat that kashi. kashi. Oh, man. <laughs> and it's it, made with soy. My <laughs> little belly does Whoa. not like that. It's so good, but I could not figure out why I couldn't. Like, it, it was actually causing me physical, physical pain. Physical pain. Just like my belly was like a balloon. It I'm was, like, oh. Have you ever had the kashi cereal? No. Oh, my God. So good. You it's should like have the, some. Something like the berry, it's like the berry crumble. It gave me a Dude, horrible stomach. You should have No, some. it's just, it's so good though. I want to see it. if it does it to you. You'll be so gassy. Well, you I just, don't. <laughs> yeah, you'll be a little, I don't, come over. Uh, I don't eat Cinnamon Toast Crunch all the time. I usually eat Raisin Bran. Yeah. Raisin healthier. Bran Crunch. Healthier? I like that. Yeah, but are you, let's go get, let's get, I have I'm going to get you my, some. I have some at home. We got to see it if it's expired. We got to see this. if it'll affect Tyler's tummy. I bought it before the pandemic because I was like, oh, cereal lasts a little bit, not, but then I was like, this is organic. We can do food experiments on me and we'll, it'll be a podcast segment. <laughs> wait, wait, wait. wait. Well, wait. I'll eat a banana. Wait, I bought a food sensitivity what? test. Are you going to die if you eat a banana? No, I just oh. have severe pain for six to eight hours oh. after eating a banana. Instagram served me an ad. There was a bloated belly of Everly. this woman and I was like, was she poking oh. it like this? She freaking was. I saw that I got the oh same my God. ad served. It's because okay. we're in the 30 to 40 female age. Mm. Anyway, uh, I was feeling a little bloated and Instagram must have known. Uh, and I, this popped up and I go, huh, I would like to know my food sensitivities. Even though at this point, like I, I know in you my know. mind, like what works with my body and what I should do and what I should eat. But do I do it? I, that's the question. I don't know. Probably not. But I'd like to know. Yeah, I did. Uh, I did that Viam, which I actually ordered you a kit. It was $500 yeah, and you, you never have, did it. I didn't because you have to scoop your poo. You do have to <laughs> scoop your poo. What? You scoop so your poo. <laughs> the, the good news about the poo scoop at the time. Okay, just, okay, this is, let's take, oh, this, let's take this back. Okay, we gotta go back. We're taking it back to a one specific trip to New York. Remember? I, I remember okay. the meatball. We, okay, I had a the, meatball. The, the, we went to a place, I think it was the ice cream. It was called anyway, the meatball. I got terrible food poisoning. Right. Brett, yeah, it was, it was his fault. He's like, oh, we're going to go to this place. It's great. Anyway, got food poisoning. Having food poisoning in New York, sharing a hotel room that didn't even have a window in the tiniest little bathroom was absolutely miserable. You slept through the entire night. And I, I felt so bad because I was just in the bathroom all night, just like, this is, the, this is the worst. So food poisoning, great. You were gone the next day shooting, filming. I just stayed in the hotel. It was just but terrible, terrible, terrible. I sick. woke up that morning. I was like, mm, good morning, and Jenna. I'm like, just sweating and I'm like, I'm, I was like, did you not hear last night at all? Like I was, I was like, I have food poisoning. Anyway, fast forward, I finally was feeling like a little bit better, but like just, it was like a day or two later. And I was like, man, I still really know, like I do not feel well, but I need to go get some like crackers or something. So I walked to Target, okay? <laughs> go to Target, I get the Ritz crackers, like whatever. Everybody likes Ritz crackers. Love. Just like a nice snack when you've got a little tummy egg. Mm-hmm. From the Ritz crackers, I then, oh, for weeks was just really, really sick, weird stomach stuff, couldn't figure it out. Went to the doctor, they needed a sample. 
of your poo. So I was like, well, while we're here, might as well do my food test. Oh my God. Anyway, the Ritz crackers had salmonella. <laughs> I got salmonella from the Ritz crackers. <laughs> Whoa. Isn't yeah. that wild? So that wasn't like confirmed, but at the there same exact time, there was a recall and it was like New York target. Cra- I was like, so you're telling me I had food poisoning, got crackers to make myself feel better <laughs> and then got salmonella. Who? Who does that happen to? Jenna. Like, what is that? That is crazy. She got a sample. Dude, I was so, I, they're, they're like, I was losing weight. I was like, that's cool, but like, not really, because you're sick. They're like, why wow, you lost a lot of weight? I'm like, this is why I'm here. <laughs> <laughs> the sample. So the sample, that's why my sample was collected. And I'm not going to ask any more questions. No, we don't need any more. Tyler wants to ask a question. No, I don't. <laughs> <laughs> I really don't. I was just thinking about, because recently I've been on this like, this food nostalgia kick uh personally like things from my childhood i've been like really craving like you know lipton noodle soup oh they're like it's like a box if yes. you go to the store it's like up on the top shelf that no one ever buys them the packet it's a the packet, packet for like when you're sick yes. and it's like a bunch of really short yeah. noodles that stuff is so good it's my favorite oh my gosh and i bought oh. like a bunch of packs of it and i had some last night with some saltine crackers it was so good. i can only think of dunkaroos oh my god dunkaroos. Wait, oh. Oh, wait it's almost holiday christmas we didn't do any baking videos we're not gonna have time like at this point i feel like christmas is over i feel like the year's over why don't you guys just like decorate some cookies yeah we i do think that. we should i'd like to do a little a little I, ca- oh <laughs> <laughs> I was gonna say not like that. I didn't know. You were still talking and then I started talking over, so I wanted to let you talk and then go ahead. Sorry. I, was, I don't I got touched. I'm so sorry. I wanted to say I want to make a Yule log. A cake? A Yule log. Is I, that like part of Jenna's story? Oh, geez. I'm sorry. Do you the need sample. a sample? Well, no. we should we should set aside some time to make a Christmas okay. kitchen video. But Tyler's leaving soon. The sixteenth. It's basically now. Set aside uh-huh. some time. Monday, Tuesday, know. what's the date? Let me open up my calendar. I've been using Fantastical. It's incredible. Who did you invite me to? You invited me to something. I'm did like, I invite stop you to inviting something? me to something. I don't know. I ignored it. It was actually for this podcast, episode 24, and I oh, didn't know. Oh, Notion. Everybody has been doing sponsored posts with Notion, and I was like, So oh. I made like 20 accounts. Did you? I think that I might have sent you one as well. No, but I was going to talk to you about Notion. Okay. Okay. You got the because Notion. I saw everybody doing Not these, and I was like, all my friends are doing this. I'm going to check it out. Got the notion. No shit. And it looks simple. So we used to use another one. It was a little more complicated. Like, I just need something simple. Yeah, let's try it. I'll accept your invite. All right, guys. So we're- Wait, about, no, there's one thing I want to talk about. There's one last here. thing. I want to talk about Tyler's YouTube channel. Yeah. You can talk about Tyler. He just sent me like a little preview of a video that he's working on. When is it going to be up? Well, this is going up Saturday. So oh, yeah. it went up yesterday. Wait, nice. it's already up? There'll no, be a no, link no. in the description. If- as, oh. as people are listening to this, it is it is up. Oh, that's good. Okay, so um, so wait, okay, okay, okay. So it already is up. Yeah. What? So how do they find your channel? We'll put a link in the description. Yeah. Well, yeah, but like, what do they type in? It's youtube.com slash Davis Tyler. Okay. And then if they go there, they're going to find a really cool video. So you shot this part of this video on this old video camera yeah like that's cool no but it's so it looks so cool it's the oldest one i could find that still uses an sd card but isn't hd like not even 720 it's 480 480p it's so cool but no it's awesome it's and it's, it. it's so cool because he like tied in like actual high quality video and then with that and had this really cool vintage look and you yeah you know it's like i got it so i could film it's just so tiny and it's just like i don't know i like old cameras and I have a bunch of film cameras and why not get something like that? It literally costs like $40 on eBay. So I'm, cool. yeah, I made half of the video shot with that. And then the rest is shot on my Canon EOS R. And then there's a bunch of cool film photos and hanging out with some photo friends. And uh, it was awesome. It was really cool. And then you recorded all the camera sounds separately. Yeah. I did a little, uh, little uh, sound effects session. It's you know? real cool. Wow. Yeah. It's pretty neat. Well, you guys should That's go check exciting. it out. Tyler's YouTube channel, Tyler on the mic. Oh, thanks. Tyler on the mic, Tyler on the mic. I took my headphones off, so. Well, you're, I have a sniffle because I'm allergic to cats. Same, there's cats, like the cat was up, it was up here, was over yeah. here, was she over was here. there. Well, she has bush. rolled her body on everything. Uh, it, this has been infiltrated. Yep, I'm gonna have to turn my 
my filter on. All right, guys. Well, thank you so much for listening. If you want to leave a review, you can leave a review. Apple Podcasts, Same Brain. We will be reading them every week. Also, anchor.fm slash same brain. Yep. Voice messages. Keep them under 15 seconds if you really want us to listen to them. (laughs) Thank you guys so much for being here. If you also um, are listening. Tell them about the mugs. If you're watching, you can watch youtube.com slash same brain. There'll also be a link in the description. We have same brain mugs Mugs. and stickers. Yay. Thank you guys for all the support. We really appreciate you and we will see you again next time. Or you'll hear us next time. Or you'll hear us next time. Bye-bye. Bye. Dinner time. Oh, I love dinner. (laughs) 